Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts and I am going to start a cover piece for this journal. Just gathered a few scraps and bits that I thought might work nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and start. This is going to be my base piece. I like that wood look. So I'm going to go ahead. Which side do I like better? That's more of a green. And I think I like this side better. Just going to go through and tear. Tear it down to size. Just to fit inside these two lace <clears throat> pieces here. Not being too precise, just tearing it. I'm going to go ahead and ink up the edges. That way I don't glue things on top and wish that I had. Just using vintage photo. There. I like that. Whichever way direction that I put it, I like it. Just going to layer some things up here. See how we like it. I like this music. That's really nice dark color. And I also like this orange here. I like that. I like all the pieces here. But let's see how this looks. Because this could be in the background like that. Well, actually, I like. Let's see. I like. <laughs> yeah. I like that to be showing. So I'm going to go ahead. Tear this piece at the bottom. That's going to go there. So we need to probably just trim this off. And there, that looks great. Let's ink this up and just see what we think first before we go any farther. I like that. I like the warbly, <laughs> the wonky. I'm going to accentuate it even more. added texture there. I really like that. So which way do we want it? Up like that? Or do we want this behind? That looks kind of cool. I do know I really like this orange piece. Let me go ahead and just tear it. You can hear that grinding noise in the background. <laughs> it is a stump grinder. They are grinding that humongous pecan tree stump today. I'm so glad that that tree is gone. Half of it fell on our house and ripped the back side of our house off, crushed our patio and our carport and ripped off part of the roof. Father's Day last year, that storm that blew through. So I was very glad to get the rest of that tree down. But now they're training the stump, so if you hear that growling noise, it's a stump grinder. And I'm very happy that it's there. I like that layer. I really want some music on there. Let's go ahead and tear this off in this one already be started. I'm going to put that aside. Let's see. I really like this rich dark color. Maybe we'll just put just a little bit here and there. Not have to put a whole piece. Just maybe a hint of music. I like that. I like 
the orange underneath. I think that looks really good. Just a little bit of a hint of it under there. That looks nice. I do like how this is layering up. I like the way it looks. How about the music? Okay, getting too fiddly here. Let's get things back under control. That's really pretty. I like these layers. I have these little papers. I like them, but I don't think I want the red rose in there. Ooh, that's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we have here. And I don't think I want any of the red. That's pretty. Two different roses. one has just all black also. Let's just pull these three out. Let's see what we think. That one. That one or that one. I think that it's going to be this one. I really think I like that. Let's see. How do we want to do this? And I like that. I might abandon that. That's too much. It's too hidden. I don't want it to be that hidden. That music out there. And let's go ahead and start just tearing this. Hmm, I have an idea. What if we put this on here? This, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's just try this. I'm sure nobody ever has these dilemmas. You're thinking and moving and all this. You just put it all down and it works great. <laughs> okay, let's move that off again. I really like this. I like that. I like where we're going. It's not finished by a long shot, but I like where it's going. Just going to ink up the roses around the edges. Then we're going to ink up around this failed journal cover piece that I have. I really think it looks, it blends in much better with the vintage photo inked around the edges on it. I'm just going to glue this lattice down on top of that failed journal cover. And I just wanted to point out that it is die cut from a Pop-Tart box. I love to upcycle, recycle, reuse anything that I possibly can. Just going to place it on top of the other piece that I have ready. And I want a background on these two roses. They look like they just need something a little extra. So I'm going to glue them down on one of these orange sheets. I really like this orange color, the burnt orange color. Just going to glue it straight down on the piece of orange paper. And I'm going to tear around it just so it has a little border of that orange. I think that's going to look really nice. And that turned out really good. I'm just going to ink up the edges just in case any of the white where I tore off, where I tore the orange paper, in case any of the white shows through, I want it to be inked up. And I'm using Vintage Photo. Okay, now I think this looks better. 
like that. <laughs> so I'll go over my glue. <clears throat> like that. Do you want it up there or down there? Well, actually, this is the way it goes. I like that. That looks kind of a purple color or something. Now let's roll it down a little bit. Rather it appear to be black. That's what I'm going for. Not purple, I mean blue. I like that. So let's start. You ever done that? Just start all over and just start all over. See where it takes you. This is that orange. And I think that's too much of that. We're not gonna go with that one. There's a darker one. Where are all the little pieces? Okay, we don't want this whole huge piece behind there. Just a small piece will be fine. I really like this music and I want it like in the corner there. That looks like a good piece. And here's some more of the music. Let's go with, let's take this piece off and just use that piece. That will look nice. Let's eat this up. Just to get rid of that harsh white line. There, that's better. I think I'm liking this much better now. Sometimes you just have to step back and go, hmm, that's not working for me. So let's try a different way. I like that much better. Much, much better. So we need to kind of have some words. A recipe, so that will work. It does need some inking though. Let's take care of that. Just a little scrap of recipe there. Yes, I am liking how this is going. This black lace, and let's see <clears throat> if maybe that is what I'm missing. Let's fold this in half. And trim off the ends. May not like it at all, but you never know until you lay it out. Yeah, not liking that either. Let's go find some creepy cloth. I'll be right back. Okay, we have some black creepy cloth now. Maybe this is what we need. Just never know. I don't want to put anything down permanently until I know this is how I want it. Let's just get a piece of this. Sort of cut apart here. Might need to trim some more off, but I think I'm liking where we're going here. Creepy cloth always seems to get bigger and bigger. Just a little picture of what it's looking like with the creepy cloth so far. Let's just remove this creepy cloth. It's not working for me. Sometimes it takes a long way around <laughs> to get to what you want. 
there's the piece that I really thought I wanted to use that discarded. Then I tried the lace to make it work for me, what I had going on, and that was a discard. And then we had the creepy cloth that was so fiddly and I just realized that um, at the, I just took it off. That didn't work Here either. It's the reveal and I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with how it turned out. Gorgeous. Spider web there on top of some dictionary page. And the spider here on top of the recipe piece of paper. I got the music going there, the same music there, and the same music here. There's the lattice piece I use. I added just a bit of lace there. Just a little interest in texture. There's the wood grain that I liked. There is, I think I said lattice, but anyway, I'll say it again. There's the lattice piece there. And then behind this, the what I <clears throat> glued the lattice piece onto is a piece of that failed journal cover. I think it looks great behind there. Ended up backing this, these roses with the, a piece of that orange. I think that turned out really well. I am very pleased with it. And thank you so much for coming along for this long way around journey just to get this small thing done. But I'm really pleased with it. And yes, thank you so much for hanging out with me and my process for making a little piece for this journal cover. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.